Hey guys, sorry it's been a while. This is Cast72. Hope everyone's doing well. So it's been a while since I've done anything on uh, YouTube and most often times when I do it's a lot of DIY or uh, you guys know my channel. Anyway, um, today we're going to go ahead and play around with the, uh, the Kia Soul. In case you guys are wondering what's going to happen here, uh, in my previous videos you all know that I used to carry the gray stripe on the doors. And in the back i took those off because today i'm going to do a little experiment um what i did is i'm going to put some decals on the vehicle and i'll explain more about that in a little bit let me just show you what i've got here so i went ahead with uh, went with some vivid um vinyl i'm using a matte attack gray and a matte white and i cut a little template here a hexagon and pretty much I'm going to do a honeycomb effect. I got all my pieces underneath here, but it's kind of windy today, guys. I'm trying to keep them from blowing out. There's the two colors. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a honeycomb effect going from the center of the vehicle off to the passenger side. I'll show you here in a minute. I already marked my, uh, I already marked my area. But uh, what I did was I went ahead and bought just a typical uh, vinyl install kit. Comes with a blade, you know, a spreader. Um, I'll put the links in the description of everything I got. I got some rags here because I needed to clean. I washed the vehicle yesterday, but it rained. So I had to go ahead and go over it with um, some Windex and a rag. And just to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to do here is um, I was thinking on going with a center stripe, half gray, half white, and then start the um, hexagon effect. But I think that's going to look, look a little awkward. So I'm just going to go with the uh, hex, uh, hexagon effect, the honeycomb effect, if you will. And basically it's going to come starting at the front where the bumper's at it's going to go over the hood at about a 25 degree angle and then it's going to come off over to the side of the vehicle as you can see there's my marking um i could have easily purchased um, the graphics myself but i really wanted to do this original like i said this is a diy channel um, I did say in a previous vehicle I was going to paint the car because I had all these little hell damage dents. Really, I'm just doing this temporarily to hide this effect, the, you know, the dents. I'm going to see how well that can hide it. I mean, it, it'll kind of disguise it just a bit because I'm not going to have time to paint this car anytime soon like I was hoping so. Uh, with my schedule, time constraints, money, etc., it's just not going to happen anytime soon. So I figured this would be a good temporary fix. Um, so that's what we're going to do today, guys. I'm going to time lapse it. I'm sorry about all the windy background noise. Um, I might have to do a, um, a voiceover if it's too bad once I play the video. I'll put all the links in the description of everything I used. Again, this is my own creation. It's my own design. I hope it works out, guys. We're going to see how it turns out. Um, hopefully, it'll disguise a bunch of these little dents uh, enough to where it's uh, acceptable momentarily until I gather up the money and uh, the time to do a thorough paint job over the whole vehicle like i had uh, mentioned on a previous video so other than that guys i hope you enjoy let's get this started i'm hoping for the best let's see what happens all right guys hope you enjoy So guys, as usual, when something comes up, I share that with you uh, while I'm actually doing the video. And what you'll notice is um, I didn't like the fact that it was just con consistent pattern. So what I did is I purposely went ahead and started moving things around to make it kind of look, you know, not like a cookie cutter where the graphics are all the same and the space is all the same. This gives it more character in my opinion. Um, like I said, I didn't want it to be all the same exact style throughout it's supposed to look like these uh, uh, hexagons are just kind of like splattered you know like i hit it with the front of the car and they just splattered that's kind of what the, i'm looking for so 
I noticed that I started keeping a, a constant pattern and I said, no, let me change that around. I don't like the way it looks. I like the way that looks right there, kind of like just out of the blue, just, you know, out there. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of shapes. I'm gonna have to go cut some more and then continue my video. I left off on this side right here. Um, as you can see, it's gonna splash over, go through the door, and then that's about it. I'm not gonna go beyond that. I might maybe put one or two or maybe three pieces on the back door, but that's about it. I don't want it to be all over the entire car. That, that would be an overkill. But that's how it looks so far, guys. I think it looks pretty awesome. As you can see, it doesn't uh, interfere with the, uh, the hell damage that was shown earlier. It kind of hides it a little bit. But yeah, let me uh, go cut some more uh, shapes out and continue on. And this is the new style for the car for now till I get ready to paint it. All right, guys. later uh, this is about where I'm gonna stop like I said I wanted to change it up a bit so the patterns are not gonna be exact uh, it looks too boring if you start noticing that the patterns repeating itself over and over uh, to me sporadic uh, patterns look a lot better um, doesn't look like a cookie cutter graphics uh, decal I was gonna go further back but uh, I think that's more than enough I don't like overdoing you know things but yeah I'm pretty happy with it guys I like it pretty cool like I said it's just momentarily to kind of help this guy some of the uh, hell damage that was done until I get around to uh, you know getting the money to get it painted properly by myself I'll be doing it but uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys sorry for the uh, windy background noise hopefully it didn't disturb you too much and um, Oh yeah, on the next video I'm going to show you how to replace the pillar. This one here I just kind of fixed it up myself with some sticky tape. Um, but I got the replacement, I'll probably do that on another video. That way uh, the left and right kind of uh, are in good condition. Aside from that guys, hope you enjoyed. Be safe wherever you're at. Cast 72 guys, peace out.